Bye, Felicia. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Lucid back again with another video and in this video I decided to make an updated Bass P class setup. I honestly don't use the Bass P often and haven't used it in a while But the Bass P no cap kind of slaps or should I say this class of slaps I actually put in some work and was lasering people with this weapon It was just all around an interesting gun to use I don't really know what to post up on, so that's why I decided to do updated class setup videos. But if you guys have an idea, let me know down in the comments. I am planning on doing a class up on the new weapons once I get to them. It's just I'm a little bit of a distance from them. I have two points, so I need about two more to unlock the new submachine gun. The Lockman Shrouded, and then I'll just do a class up on that. Or should I say the Lockman Shroud. Once I finish this weapon and I have more points, then I'm going to go towards the FAMAS and then do a class up on that. But it's just going to take a while because, because I work like the entire week. And only have a couple days off one day to record one day to edit and just one day to restore my brain But yeah, i'm not gonna hold you guys up any longer in this video I end up dropping an mgb with this bass p class setup So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like and sub if you're new We're on the road to a thousand subs be here before a thousand If you guys are interested in best class setups tips and tricks how to get better best settings nuclear gameplay and the camo grind in modern warfare 2 to subscribe but now let's get into the insane bass p class setup then let's get into the insane mgb gameplay you Using this class setup. For the first attachment, I was running the D37 grip. These are the tunings I was running. I'm going towards ADS and sprint to fire. ADS to aim down faster, sprint to fire to sprint faster. It's all about speed. You want your weapon to be faster. The reason I decided to run this grip because has recoil control, which the Bass P did have recoil. So I kind of wanted to build around that and counter it because I needed my weapon to be fast but also remain accurate so I can laser people off a head glitches range, which is what I did at plenty of times with this class in it. For the second attachment, I was running the Bruin Flash V stock. These are tuning cells running. I went towards ADS and aim walking speed. ADS to aim down faster again. Aim walking speed to stray faster. The reason I decided to run this stock is because it gives sprint speed, which allows me to run faster. It gives aim walking speed, allows me to stray faster again. Crouch speed, which allows me to spam crouch, which allows me to have a higher chance of winning my battles. And ADS speed again to aim down faster. For the third attachment, I was running the VLK laser. These are tunings I was running. I went towards ADS sprint to fire. Same reason as before. Speed, you want to be fast. For the fourth attachment, I was running the Bruin SZ36 barrel. These are tunings I was running. I went towards recoil steadiness and damage range. Recoil steadiness so my gun is steady while I'm shooting it. And damage range so my gun hits harder range. You can go towards ADS instead of damage range. That's up to you. Since the attachment itself has damage range, if you guys feel like you want to have more speed, then go towards ADS. And for the fifth and final attachment, I was running the FTAC Castle Comp. These are the tunings I was running. I went towards recoil control and ADS. ADS so my gun's faster and recoil control so my gun doesn't have any visual recoil. And the reason I decided to run this attachment is because it gets horizontal and vertical recoil. But yeah, anyways, this class up's insane. As you guys can see in the stats, everything is being buffed significantly besides mobility. Mobility went up a little bit, but that's just your sprint speed overall. The reason it went up is because the stock gives sprint speed. But honestly, this is probably the best class up you're going to find for the Bass P, bro. It has no recoil. It has damage range, bullet velocity, and it's extremely fast when it comes to sprint speed, ADS, and sprint to fire. It's untouched when it comes to the Bass P, and I'm not even gonna cap. But yeah, anyways, let me know guys' thoughts down in the comments about this class setup, and what do you guys want to see me post up on next? But now that that's over, let's get into this insane MGB gameplay using this busted Bass P class setup. Alrighty, got... Alrighty, guys. Back on here again. Ah, I forgot to change this damn class. I didn't realize I didn't have a stem shot on. Trying to figure out what to do, bruh. I need to unlock the new weapons so I can do class ups on them. It's just I don't have as much time to do that. So now I'm gonna try to go for that submachine gun, the new one they just dropped because what is the Sid on the mid season or something like that? They added that new map which I played. Eh. It's small, which was a good thing, but its flow sucks, so it didn't make a difference. Area. 
and that new submachine gun that has a built-in suppressor. I don't know what gun it is. But I'm actually right next to that weapon, so I was like, why not just go for that one and unlock it, level it up, and then do a class setup on it. Because the other ones, I'm still a little bit of a distance away. So I have a, a higher chance of getting that weapon unlocked and leveled and doing a class setup on it than trying to get the other ones. So I'm probably going to go for the submachine gun first, and then that AR. Took you long enough to kill a dude? Look, I ran through and then y'all still didn't see him. It's the tunnel, bro. Damn, bro, just blasting. Oh, hell no! Please, reload slower. They're gonna spawn over here, aren't they? There's the MGB. I actually didn't realize I was that close. I thought I was maybe a three off. Fast P kind of slapped, though. I wonder why I didn't use this thing more. I'll actually keep the Semtex to just replace the flash grenade, I think it was. Love fucking riot shield knives, bruh. Team, we finished my kill and we gave him the kill. What? Yeah. Now I'm gonna just try to go for kills. I wanna see if I can get some extremely high kill gameplay. Let's see if I can at least go for triple kills. But based on irritating knifers with riot shields on the back, probably not. I don't care if we go for the double MGB. If I get close to it, then I probably will. But everyone running around like trash cans with shotguns and riot shields and knives is not happening. Bye, Felicia. Oh my. I knew it was coming. Looks like I'm not gonna end up getting triple kills just because of the riot shield knife trash can right along with the shotgun trash can. Call out the MGB. Thank you. Thank you. Get slapped up, my boys. Get hit by the MGB. <sighs> Tired of shotguns, knives. I literally despise shotguns, knives, and snipers. I had 92 kills, but I got a bunch of deaths because of... I was just trying to go for a high kill gameplay after I got the nuke. And everyone's just playing so cancerous. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to slap on the post notification so you miss the latest and greatest videos. And I'll see you later, guys. Peace.